Lisa Egan from the Reading uh, Chamber of Commerce, who's going to be talking to us about some of the programs and events run through the Reading Chamber of Commerce. So, Lisa? Great, thank you. Hi. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> um, we are a business organization here in town, and we have a bunch of events that we've done basically to try to promote the businesses in town as well as support the community at large. Um, some of our big ones that most people are probably familiar with in town is the annual tree lighting that happens right after Thanksgiving, and that brings a lot of people to our town and also highlights the great improvements we've done um, within the community. Um, Do you have any events coming up uh, in the late spring or early summer that people might want to know about? Sure, absolutely. We have a new um, Women in Networking series that's starting next month um, in June with the Wakefield Chamber, the Reading Chamber, Linfield Chamber, Stoneham, as well as Wakefield. So we expect that to be really um, fun for women. Um, it's a new program that we've just launched and we had an event in January and it was very well attended. So people will come out in the middle of a snowstorm. I know it'll be great <laughs> in June. That will be again with several other chambers at Harrington's um, on June 16th. Great. Um, so how can people find out about some of your programs or upcoming events? Um, how, how can we find out more about you? Of course, we do have um, information on our website as well as our Facebook page. Our website is um, www.reddingnorthreddingchamber.org. And we also, you know, have mailing lists that we love to send people out information to. We try to also put all of our information in the Advocate, the Chronicle, as well as the Patch, just to try to spread the word. And we do have a membership um, of local business owners and community people who are involved. But you don't have to be a member to come to an event. People are always welcome. Um, one thing we've started in the last year is we've had a lot of networking events that have been very well attended, um, just at a local um, restaurant where people can come, step by, have an appetizer, and just casual conversation. But we usually get 50 to 60 to, um, local people, so those have been really fun and just a nice way to get to know people and connect with other entrepreneurs about best practices or challenges they might be seeing within their organization. So, you know, we try to bring a lot of connections to our membership as well as um, within the community. Excellent. Is there anything else that you'd like to highlight uh, about the Reading Chamber of Commerce? Um, just that um, we're a really vibrant and growing organization. We have um, 220 members. We're getting new members every week, and um, we're really trying to be very active and engaged within the community. We try to do um, educational events as well as social events. So um, one that we have coming up is about the new chip technology, which anyone who accepts credit cards would be affected by, oh. whether you're um, you know, a realtor or a banker or uh, someone who's got a retail storefront. In October, the technology is going to change, and if you don't upgrade your merchant um, point-of-sale POS system and you accept credit cards, you will be liable for um, fraudulent cards and stolen cards um, if you don't upgrade. So it's a little bit of a tricky situation because the new technology, there's various choices. In some cases, it's more expensive. But if you're a small business and you make a $10,000 transaction, say you're a jeweler, and the card is fraudulent, you are, as a business, responsible for that loss. So it's a big deal, and it's something we're keeping an eye on and helping to work within the legislation as well as to educate our members mm -hmm. just so they can make informed decisions so they don't get caught um, because a lot of these um, losses could really affect a small business. It's a lot of money. Um, so how can they find out, how can, how can the public find out more about this new legislation and um, what is the Reading Chamber of Commerce doing to promote that? Yep, we're going to be having a um, seminar as the change takes effect in October. So we're planning on doing a presentation on that in um, probably late summer when it's a little bit closer. I think that's when most people will have questions. We also are going to have a membership or um, meeting next month about cybersecurity. It was just covered in the Wall Street Journal in terms of this new phenomena where hackers are actually taking small businesses' websites and holding them hostage. It's called ransomware, um, but it's you know described as a viable threat to small businesses, and we want people to make sure they have ample coverage on their website as well as um, to educate them about the different choices because these websites get held ransom for like $2,000 and Goodness. suddenly your website in e-commerce is shut down and it's something that's happening new, um, new throughout the U.S. and mm -hmm. we want to educate 
our membership. So we're going to bring that in Jan, uh, June. We're scheduling the date now. Um, and all these events can be found on our website. Excellent. Um, thank you very much. It sounds like you are doing excellent work and uh, hopefully uh, in educating the people about some of these important issues that could be affecting them. Thank you. Thanks very much for being here tonight. Thank you very much for the opportunity.